Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Highland Gamer. Just wanting to go through with you the heist prep for the Cayo Perico heist. First we're going to go for the plasma cutter. And we'll use the sparrow. It's saying to go to the safe house, but there's three different locations that the plasma cutter is going to be. If you can remember where they are, you can go straight there. This one's just at the end of the pier. So you can land and you can just walk straight in um, before you go to the safe house. It just makes it a lot easier because if you go to the safe house and then go there, they're going to be shooting at you. So this is a slightly quicker way of getting it done and there's less chance of dying. So you still need to go over to the safe house and take the picture. So we'll head over there just now. So you just take the picture and you send it to Pavel. And then what you need to do, you need to need to head back over to the location that it's telling you to. But you don't need to stop as you've already got the plasma cutter. So just fly past until the yellow mark's gone and then you're heading straight back to the sub. As easy as that. So next we're going to do the fingerprint cloner. This one you can go and see what it is beforehand before you go to the warehouse it's quite handy if there's two of you doing the prep missions one of you can go find out where it is and wait at the door the other person goes to the warehouse and that makes it a wee bit quicker It's quite good turning the cameras off, doesn't make too much of a difference but it gives you a wee bit of extra time inside before they start shooting at you but as you can see here I died anyway. There you go, you just go up to the archive, but if you've already if you're doing the heist or the setups, should I say with another person, the other person could already be there and they'd be in straight away. And then you would just go back down to the sub and start the next prep prep.
and go. So that's the second one done. Onto the cutting torch. So there's three construction sites that the cutting torch will be on and on the, all of them there is a hard hat line about you just need to find where it is on this one it's right up in the top on that sheets of wood there so just land right next to it sometimes you need to walk away a wee bit for it to register that you can pick it up there you go and then once, once you've done them a few times, you can kind of remember where the boxes are, so you just run around all the boxes. And try not to run into any of the guards or any of the workers, because they will start shooting at you. As I found out, I bumped into one of the workers, thought it was okay, and then start getting shot at. Go another nice easy one to do, so back up to the chopper and then back out to the sub to get the second one done. Or the fourth one done, sorry. So this one we're going for the weapons and as you can see it's come up with Meriwether. Um, that one's a pain because you have to follow the chopper all the way up the map. So what I tend to do is just go over, blow up the chopper, go back and restart it again. Um, sometimes the next one you'll get will be in a building, sometimes it'll take a couple of goes. So this time we've got one of the buildings, I actually had to redo it four times. Um, and as you can see I actually moved the sub closer, closer to the Merryweather base so that it was quicker to blow up the chopper. So we'll head over to the building and I've found the easiest way is to land on the roof. This one that we're going to, it's a wee bit awkward to land with the sparrow because there's stuff in the way, but you can position it on that walkway. And then if you use a, use a silenced weapon, you you can get most of the way in before you set the alarms off. Or 
or you can just go in all guns blazing, that's fun as well. set the alarms off, it was a wee bit too slow in shooting that guy, but got most of the way in without getting shot at. And watch it, yeah, press the right button because I've ended up in the ground before a couple of times. Um, if you take the guys out that are in the back of the choppers and don't blow the choppers up, the choppers will stay, they'll follow you, but you won't be getting shot at. So I think after this one, that's us on to the approach vehicle, and that'll be the last one of. I'm sure. Yep, approach vehicle. So I normally go for the long fin. I've done another video on that, but I'll do this one in here anyway, because this is going to be a complete high prep setup. So head over to the police station and you can you can either go and find one of the truck cabs that they're suggesting or if you've got your own phantom wedge I'd recommend calling that. If not, if you've got an MOC you can use that as well. The only problem with using the MOC is you won't be able to deliver it with that. You'll have to find another cab round about the dock area. And most of the time there is a, a cab round about there somewhere. Phantom Wedge is a wee bit of a pain just because how long the nose is on it without wedge. But once you got the trailer on, just head for the dock. I t if it's at this one, I tend to use this route because you can go down and you can go onto the railway track. And if you park on the bridge, the police don't follow you on there. But I've seen other people have got different methods of doing it. They take the boat right down to the dock and then they either jump in the water and get, hide from the police or hide behind piles of wood in the buildings. I've found that this is uh, the easiest way of doing it. So 
if you just take a right here and you just need to watch that you stay on the left hand track because there's sometimes the train comes up the right hand one and if you just park here you'll lose the police in a couple of minutes And that's it, police gone. And then you just drive over to the drop off area. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you have found this guide helpful and use some of the methods in it. If you could give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe that would be much appreciated and we'll catch you on the next video